If you clicked on this video, it's probably because you're looking to make a world a better place. And for that, I truly respect and thank you. Whether you're starting a new charity or already have a cause close to your heart, a website can really help spread the word and make a difference. So in this video, I will share some essential tips on how you can make the best out of your charity website. Sounds good? All right, let's get started. Okay, so first thing on my list is the first thing your visitors should see when they land on your charity website, and that is your mission statement. Get that one right and you'll set the stage for deeper engagement and involvement. Ideally, your mission statement should be above the fold, that is, immediately visible without needing to scroll. Use this space to clearly outline why your charity exists and what impact you're striving to create. Chances are your organization already has a mission statement. So if that's the case, great. Put it up on your website's homepage and you'll be good to go. If not, uh, let me give you a couple of tips. So the mission statement should be short, memorable and packed with emotional appeal. For example, instead of saying, we're providing meals for the hungry, try something like, uh, together we can end hunger one meal at a time. So check out these examples of great mission statements from inspiration. Khan's Academy mission statement, for instance, is clear and concise and states its big goal. Similarly, the Human Rights Watch makes its mission as clear as can be. Ensure the mission statement reflects the heart of your organization and resonates with your target audience. So for the best effect, pair it with a prominent button for your next desired action, like donate now. That's because a well-placed, easy to find donation button is the cornerstone of any successful charity website. Are your visitors inspired by your mission? Well, then they shouldn't have to dig around for ways to contribute. Make it effortless for them to take action. Your donation button should be bold, bright, and impossible to miss. Since the last time you saw this button, I've already rewritten the text in all caps, changed the background color, and increased its size. Now, it stands out from the site's design, but it still aligns with the branding. So consider your options. If your website features a blue palette, a warm orange, or vibrant green button may just catch the eye without clashing. So place the button prominently throughout your website. For example, the header is great. This way the button will remain visible as users navigate the pages. If you got articles, success stories, or volunteer sign-up forms, you can find a way to include the donation button there naturally as well. And when it comes to the wording of your donation button, avoid generic terms like click here. So instead opt for action-oriented text like uh, donate now or help today, give to save lives. Uh, you get the idea. So if possible, personalize the button based on your mission, such as save a puppy or protect wildlife today. Finally, ensure the actual donation process is seamless. Clicking the button should lead visitors to a fast and secure payment form. While you're at it, make sure you account for both one-time and reoccurring donations. Once your visitors are inspired by your mission and see an easy way to support the cause, the next step is to build trust and connect on a deeper level. Impact stories and testimonials are the best tools for this since they show the actual difference your charity makes. Highlight real stories of what your charity has made happen. For example, instead of saying we've rescued 500 stray animals this year, share a story like, when Max was found, he was malnourished and scared. And thanks to your support, he's now thriving in a loving home. You can also pair these stories with heartwarming visuals for a stronger effect. Testimonials can also come from volunteers or even partners. Make sure to create a dedicated section for these stories, but also sprinkle them throughout the site, on the homepage, near your donation button, next to blog posts, and so on. And let your visitors see the impact their support will have. Okay, now let's discuss transparency, because it is key to building trust with donors. By providing clear financial information on your charity website, you can let people know exactly what difference their contributions will make. So start by creating a section that breaks down how donations are used. Use simple visuals like pie charts, infographics to show percentages and reassure visitors that their money is going where it's needed. If you want to go an extra mile, you can include an annual report or financial summary that donors can download. Um, share important metrics and feature them along with your testimonials all across your website. Oh, and if you've got a review from a third party evaluator or a high rating from a charity watchdog, include that as well. This will considerably boost your credibility. Just remember, 
whatever information you're sharing, don't get too technical and keep your tone approachable. This will help foster confidence and inspire more people to become lifelong supporters. Now, talking about the website creation itself, if you don't have a platform in mind to build your charity website and you're looking for an all around solution, then I definitely recommend you check out Hostinger's AI website builder. And yes, the example website I was showing you throughout the video was built using it. It's hands down the easiest way to build and manage your site. Really, even if you're starting from scratch, you can have a fully functional charity website within minutes. Easy to create and striking donation buttons? Check. Blog pages and visually attractive testimonials on the homepage? You've got it. Beautifully written retellings of your charity's achievements? No problem. Just let the builder's AI writer know the facts and it'll do the writing for you. Also, setting up donations is easy with the builder as it has donations pre-made as a product type in the store manager. Just don't forget to set up your payment methods first to receive the funds. If that all sounds good, click the link in the description below to get started. And remember to apply the discount code WB10 during the checkout to get an extra 10% off of your purchase. All right, now it's time to explore item five on my list and it's mobile optimization. So over half of all web traffic comes from mobile devices. So your charity website needs to look and work flawlessly on any screen. If people struggle to navigate your site, they're less likely to engage, donate or stay. So what does that mean? Well, a mobile optimized website loads quickly, its buttons are easy to tap on the screen, and it's legible without having to zoom in. So every single part of your website should be just as accessible on mobile as it is on desktop. Ideally, your charity site should automatically adapt to different screen sizes, keeping the user experience as smooth as possible. So test your website on smartphones and tablets regularly. Also, check if the layout works, examine the images, and give your articles a read. If your website is mobily optimized, donors will think that your organization is modern and professional. Well, then this means they'll be more likely to entrust money to your cause. And depending on how you build your website, mobile responsiveness may be hard to implement. But then again, if you're thinking of creating your website with hosting your website builder, it will be automatically optimized to be mobile responsive, so that's one less thing to worry about. All right, now that you made sure your site looks great on mobile devices, you've got to add a way for people to get involved. Donations are crucial, but don't forget that people may also want to contribute their time, skills, and energy to your cause. So your website should make it easy for visitors to join up. To do that, create a dedicated section for volunteer opportunities. Outline the roles available, their impact, and how people can sign up. Does your animal charity need foster families or event coordinators? Well, let it be known and provide clear descriptions and requirements. Remember the testimonials from earlier? Well, they'll be really great here as well. Add the stories and photos of current volunteers to show how rewarding their experience have been. You can go even further by offering multiple ways to engage. So highlight options like attending fundraiser events or starting peer-to-peer -peer campaigns. And whatever you do, make sure you add a button with a simple call to action like become a volunteer. Then make the sign up process seamless. Let your button lead to an easy to complete form that emails you as soon as people press submit. This brings me to my last tip for you today. A beautiful charity website won't do much good if no one can find it. And that's where search engine optimization comes in. Simply put, your website needs to rank on search engines for the relevant local keywords. Otherwise, you won't reach your target audience. So start by conducting keyword research using tools like Google Trends to find the most popular and relevant terms for your cause. If you run an animal charity, for instance, popular keywords would be animal rescue donations or adopt a dog near me. If your charity does its work in a specific area, focus on local keywords as well. Then make a list of your findings. With your keywords handy, place them throughout your website's content, especially in the titles, headings, and meta descriptions. And if all of that sounds a bit confusing, watch this video. It's a great introduction to how to make SEO work for you. I'll leave a link in the description below. Finally, don't forget about integrating social media. Include share buttons and encourage your supporters. Make it easy to spread the word about your cause. At the same time, share updates, success stories, and donation campaigns on your social media accounts and link to your website for the full story. This will keep your followers engaged and direct them to your charity website where they can take action. And that's it. I hope these tips help you create the best website for your cause. If you have any other impactful suggestions, please leave them for everyone to see in the comment section below the video. And if you found this video helpful, leave us a like and consider subscribing to Hostinger Academy for more helpful videos like this in the future. 
Thank you for watching and best of luck making a difference. I'll see you next time.